amenorrhea is the term for absence of periods. So there can be primary amenorrhea, which is when a young woman who is over the age of 16 has never started her period, and that can be cause for concern. You may need to seek a medical opinion to see if there's more testing that's needed to see if there's anything going on with that. And then there can be secondary amenorrhea. And that just means that once a woman has started her period, for whatever reason, she stops having it. Now, the most common and obvious uh, reason for not having periods, of course, is pregnancy. However, if you're having irregular periods, or if you're a woman who has come off the birth control pill and her periods haven't started back up yet, then that could be kind of tricky because you can ovulate after you've not had periods for a while, not know it, become pregnant, and then continue to not have periods. And so sometimes it even becomes more tricky because uh, a very normal part of early pregnancy can be some light spotting. So you might be thinking that you're trying to start your period or that that is your period when in fact you really are pregnant. So if in doubt, always take a pregnancy test. Now another reason that we stop having periods is because our body becomes stressed. And that can be because of a trauma, an illness, um, from any number of things. But it's the hypothalamic, so that organ in our brain that talks through our pituitary gland in our brain to our ovaries and says, hey, this woman is in a situation right now and getting pregnant is not a good idea. Now, our brain hypothalamus cannot figure out if we're just having the stress of an everyday life in the 21st century or if we really are in war. The other thing that can cause us to stop having periods or to um, have irregular periods is menopause or perimenopause. So one of the most important things to know if you have access to uh, your mother, your grandmother, your aunt, older sisters, is to see when they stopped having periods. That's a very good genetic indicator of when you might be starting to go through menopause. The other thing that you can do is request that a, a uh, follicle, I'm sorry, yes, a follicle stimulating hormone uh, test be done through your doctor's office. It's a blood test. And if that starts to rise, then you know that you're going through menopause. Another reason to stop having periods, even in normal and overweight individuals, is not eating enough calories. For instance, if you go on a low carb diet, because it's estimated that we need between 100 and 150 grams of carbohydrates per day in order to ovulate. And so if you have gone on a, a very low carb diet, that could be a reason that your body's not ovulating. There's also medical conditions like celiac disease and thyroid disease that keeps us from having regular periods. And then if all those causes are ruled out, then we may get diagnosed with polycystic ovarian syndrome, which we've discussed a little bit in the past.